Hello YouTube, it's New World Dada, and we're about to hop into this new world. And today I have a special one for you. It is College Hoops 2K. So I want to bring you a new rebuilding challenge. And today the school that I want to help win a national championship is Michigan State. So they actually haven't won national championships since 2000. The last time they were in the final four was 2015. So today I'm hoping I could come in here, help them win this championship. The roster we're going to start out with is Cassius Winston, Rocket Watts, Xavier Tillman, Foster Lawyer, Aaron Henry, Joshua Langford, Marcus Bingham, Kyle Ahrens, Gabe Brown, and then just a bunch of redshirt players here at the bottom. And so one of the first things I want to do is go ahead and see what other players we can bring in, you know, who we can get to transfer our school to help our school become better. And if we're looking at every single player right now in the NCAA pool here, number one's Elijah Hughes, Dolage, Edwards at 86 overall, with a Kyle Kuzma face again, and Quincy Garrier, Cole Anthony, Caleb Wesson, Cassius Winston, we have him. So Who should we try to get for this splash? All right, so the first thing that we're gonna go ahead and propose to them is give them Tillman. And it says a first round pick. We'll use our imagination and think of those as, I don't know, maybe scholarship transfer, even though you can't really give away scholarships, you know, but. Okay, that didn't work, but what if we go ahead and throw in one of the, can I get rid of all these guys? I don't need none of them. Let's see, and then you guys give us back. <laughs> okay, how about we do this? I don't want to give up too much, but we'll give you Gabe Brown. Love your current team. We're gonna pull this off. We'll try. I don't wanna give up that much, but we'll give you two. Give you a first round and a second round. Another second round. One more second round. Okay. So we're not gonna be able to get Tyrese Maxey to transfer over to Michigan State. So the second trade that I wanna try to pull off now is for Jordan Wara. And I wanna trade Joshua Langford, give him one of these boo boo red shirts and a first round pick. Huh, let's see. We'll give them another one of our players. And then you guys give me back. We'll take on your boo-boo players. Give away valuable assets. See if I take the second round pick. Come on, we're gonna throw in another second round pick. All right, now let's see if he'll take this trade. We'll give him Joshua Langford, Foster Lawyer, First round and two second round picks. Looks like, what else do they want? I'll give you another first. Okay, I, I probably gave away way too much there just for Jordan or. All right, so I came looking for a center and the best trade that I found was this Vincent Poirier, Darius Threat. I give up my center and small forward and the second round pick, but I think they can help us turn this. We're gonna go ahead and make that trade. Now, Cassius Winston, small forward. Essentially, we have no depth at any other position on our team. So we need to go ahead and build up some depth. 
we have about 100 small forwards, but they're all trash. So I really don't need. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and trade. I'm going to trade thread away. So I found out I could not do that because I just traded for him and so I got to wait 60 days. Yeah, so that's not going to happen. What if... I really need to get rid of this. Let's see. Boom, boom, boom. Throw in Gabe Brown. What can this get me? So the trade I'm actually gonna be making is this one with Providence or transfer with Providence because I'll be getting away two of these players that are terrible, don't need them. And instead I'll get back this Nichols and this Breland. They're both 70 overalls. I can use the depth. So we'll go ahead and make that one. Now, I still want to get some more of them out of the way. All right, so another trade I'm trying to craft up here is for Rocket Watts. I'm gonna get back eight back. I'll give them these red shirts and a second round. And then give me back Need to make up some money. And then you guys can give me back. Give me your PJ. So we'll throw in. Another second. So they want to get, no, you, no, they want Cassius Winston, not happy. Let's see what we can. All right, so came looking for another trade and I can get rid of Xavier Tillman, Kyle Atherin here for Zeke and Stone. It's going to cause a big man heavy lineup, but I think we can. I think this, I think we can get this to work out. I think we can get that to work out. So we have Cassis Winston, Jordan Wara, Darius Threat, Zeke, Rocket Watts, Vincent Poirier, Stone Gettings, 4G Nichols, Trayvon Freeland. We have four of these terrible players. All right. So we have Cassius Winston, Jordan Wara, Zeke, Darius Threat, Rocket Watts, Vincent Poirier, Stone Gettings, Gorgie Nichols, Trayvon Freeland, a whole bunch of terrible overall players that I can't do anything with. And I'm not really happy with the team, but this is about the best we can get. Literally, this is about the best we can get. We don't need a bench that deep. I don't know what he's talking about. All right, so final minutes. It's looking like Cassidy is going to get most of the minutes here. A lot of the minutes at point guard. Rocket Watts here, shooting guard. Now, we are big man heavy. Big man heavy. But that's going to be the final roster. So with our roster complete, even though I'm not really happy with it, we're going to have to go ahead and get a new coach. Him, he's out of here. He's fired. He's gone. The coach that I want to go ahead and get is I'm going to go ahead get Steve Kerr. We'll get Steve Kerr. Accept it. Steve Kerr is our new head coach. 
in the system that's going to work best for us. And we're going to run the balance. We're going to keep it balanced. So I want to sim the month of November. Uh, the first game he gets a high left ankle sprain. Ugh, man. <laughs> Our red shirt gets a broken right leg. The red shirt. They want to you know. Another red shirt player hurt something. What is, go uh, what is going on with these red shirts? I don't know what they're doing. So yeah, at the end of November, we are sad. We're four and seven, four and seven. And that's just not gonna get it done. Cassius Winston is dropping 23, eight and seven. He's shooting 41 from three, that's good. 44%, that's that's all right. 87 from the free, free throw is decent. Jordan War is dropping 20. Nine and four. He's shooting okay. He could shoot a lot better. Three, he could be doing better. Free throws decent. Our, our roster's pretty bad. We are doing pretty bad. So let's see. Who can get up out of here? Yeah, so there's actually not much we can do right now. So we got to keep on simming some games. Yeah. So we're halfway through December. And we're 6 and 11. Somebody's got to go. All right. So we're having a... We started off pretty good. And now we're doing terrible. We're through December. And we're 6 and 13. Six and 13, we're not even nowhere near the playoffs. Nowhere near the playoffs. So some moves have to be made. And my, that's all my top players are getting injured left and right. Everybody's durability is terrible. So let's see what we need. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get rid of both these big men. We're going to get back Ashton Haggins at point guard, Nick Richards at center. Probably a terrible idea. Let's go ahead. Now, catch Winston, Nick Richards, center. Aura, and we have no depth. We gotta move some of these shooting guards. The small forwards. All right. For now, we're just gonna go ahead and sim some more games and see where we get. And you know, we started picking up some wins. We started doing a little better. So let's go back and see. So Cassius Winston. Got Guara, he's coming back. Agnes, Richards. I think we can, we can sim a little bit and then come back once again. All right, so coming to the All-Star game, we have Cassius Winston as a captain and Cole Anthony. So let's see if we have any other Michigan State boys out here. And no, we do not have any more Michigan State boys. So I'm not concerned about this whatsoever. So we are at the trade deadline and I have a decision to make. Do I want to move some of these players? And I'm going to go search for some trades and see what I can find. All right, so there wasn't really any trades that 
looked all that great. So I'm just going to go ahead and send to the end of the season and hopefully we can sneak into the playoffs and do something from there. All right, so we actually ended off the season at 32 and 26. I only have 58 games a season. I want to make it as close to an actual college season as possible. Couldn't get 35 on there. I went with a little bit more and a little less because otherwise it would have just been 29 was the next lowest option. But winning MVP was Mirko Jukic. I'm surprised. I thought it would have been someone like Cole Anthony, maybe Tyrese Maxey. You know, Cassius Stanley, Trey Jones, someone like that. But it wasn't. But this guy here averaged 35 and 6. Two steals. And he was 50, 40, 90 club. Not just that. 97 free throw. He very well might be the, one of the best college players to ever play. Hands down. Six man. Someone we I tried to trade for but couldn't get Dolage. 15 points, 11 boards, 2 assists. Not quite 50, 40, 90 club, 44, but 89 from free throws really good. DPOY went to Trey Jones. 13 points, 7 boards, 9 assists, 3 steals. 3 steals. But his shooting was atrocious. 31% from the field and only 27 from 3. And as a guard, shooting 78 from the line, it's terrible. Most improved, Mateus Pons. Okay. Anthony Sterling, coach of the year, 49 and 9. First? Oh, man. That might be that Syracuse team, because the Syracuse team on here is actually pretty stacked. And y'all, first team, no first teamers. Second teamers, Cassius Winston made it on the second team. Okay, and that, that's it for us. Defense, we got Zeke. Nanaji is out here. He made it. Okay. Second team, we also got Ashton Haggard. Okay, so we was clamping up in the second part of the season then. So we actually snuck in as the seventh seed. And something I did is like actual college. I made it one game elimination. So looking at the season stats, points leaders went to Mirko Jukic, Cole Anthony, who put up 27 points, had two rebounds and only five assists. Probably, okay. Number third in voting, our very own Cassius Winston, and then Vernon Carey and Cash Stanley. Of course, leading in rebounds was Vernon Carey, then Azabuki, Wesson, Matthew Hurt and Jesse Edwards. Assist, Trey Jones with nine. Daquan Ivy with eight. Dara Fisher with eight. Joseph Gerard, Triple L, seven. And Ray Tart with seven. And yes, I'm pretty sure that's a Larry Nance Jr. face scan. Steals went to Trey Jones, Cash Stanley, Cash's Winston with two steals, 2.6 for Trey, 2.3 for Stanley. Dwora, two steals, okay. And then we got Maxi with two steals as well. So I guess the reason we snuck in is because towards the end of the season, we had people starting to clamp up and that really helped us out a lot. Now, the thing that did hurt us was the fact that we had a ton of injuries. We had way too many injuries. Winston was hurt. Richards is hurt. Wara is hurt. This man here stays hurt. He stays hurt. His durability has to be low because he's always hurt. Right off the bat, Wichita State beats North Carolina State. Arizona loses to Ohio State. And it was the high-scoring high game. And over here, the number one seed, Syracuse loses to the eighth seed, Louisville, the upset. That is very shocking. But we actually managed to come out of this one with the win. So we beat Kansas. 
We beat Kansas 101 to 85. As Ibuki had 17 points, 12 boards. Okay, they had a very fairly even scoring on their side. Cassius Winston scoring 24 for us on 9 of 21 shoot with three from 11 from deep. That's terrible. Put the team on the back and we're going out of here with a win. Watts had 19, Dwarah had 18, 15. So we had a lot of people contributing to this win. So now the next matchups are the number one seed Oregon versus number four, Wichita State. Number six, Ohio State versus us, Michigan State at seven. Creighton, the number four seed versus Louisville, the eighth seed. And UConn, the seventh seed playing Alabama, the third seed. So there was quite a bit of upsets, actually. All right, so I'm really not trying to lose this at all. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, yeah, you don't, you don't need all the minutes. You don't need all those minutes. We're gonna go ahead and distribute these amongst our starters. All right. Let's get back to the action. Okay, we're up by seven. Okay, we're up by 12. Oh, we're blowing them out. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, 40. It's a close one. So after the half, we're up by 10, 47 to 37. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. With 23 seconds left, we're up 93 to 79. What we're gonna do is go ahead and jump in here so we could catch some of this college hoops action. We're already up by a lot, so I really don't feel like jumping in as the team. The game's almost over. Okay, Washington with the ball. So we really just put Ohio State out of this one like that. And we're moving on. <laughs> let's get back to it we move on to the final four so the final four is wichita state versus michigan state and alabama versus creighton something i believe never would happen in real life first off never happening and the reason Duke did, I just realized this, Duke didn't even make the tournament. Neither did Kentucky. Wait, 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 wait. So Kentucky and Duke were the ninth and 10th seed. They had, they just were out of it. Giving their spots up to Louisville and Connecticut. Wow. But five up. Whoa. Going through the second, we're up 42 to 37, 73 to 55 in the third. This game is a blowout. We are blowing Wichita State out. And so we win this game 107 to 92. 107 to 92. And on this side, Alabama wins. So let's see what how this one. Dwarah had 23 on a terrible 3 for 13 shooting. But Cassius Winston shot 50% at 17 points. Watts with 16 points. This was a monster game though. 23 and 15. 3 assists and 4 steals. Okay. Cassius Winston had 17. Watts had 16. Naj with 15. Agnes 14. So we had a well round scoring attempt from everybody in the playoffs. Norris averaged 19, 11, or 12, and 4. On 32% from the field and 21 from 3. He's he's putting up points, but his field goal percentage is terrible. Cassius Winston's putting up 22 in the playoffs with four boards, eight assists. On 41% shooting, not the best either. 32 from three, that is also terrible. But he's shooting 100 from free throw. Hasn't missed a free throw. How many free throws has he had? 
six. And he's hit all six. Good job. Watts, our shooting guard, 17. Okay. But this is the big game here. Oh, this. Oh, they put it on Creighton. Creighton lost 114 to 94. Behind Atkins, 21 points, six boards, a steal. Nine for nine free throws, six for 14 from the field. They had the man. This man won MVP. And he's from Croatia. So they had a student come from Croatia. He was dropping 32 points in the playoffs. Five boards, nine assists. 47 from the field, 48% from three point range and hit all his free throws shooting 100%. And he shot 37 free throws and hit all 37 in the playoffs. That's ridiculous. And this team got put out by Alabama. They got put out. But like I said earlier, Michigan State hadn't made the Final Four since 2015, and we're back in the National Championship. And of course, we have someone with a sprained left wrist. And Cassius Winston has a bruised right hip. But let's see what we can do against this Alabama team. We're up. We're losing now. Well. At the end of the first, we're losing by seven points. Come on, we gotta we gotta turn it up a little bit. Oh, hold on. Starting off, and we're getting blowed out. Blown out. Yeah, this one didn't go our way. Uh, we got destroyed by Alabama in the national championship. Yeah, so uh, we made it to national championship, but we really didn't do much in it at all. Well, since we already lost, I might as well take over here. Maybe if they would have been playing like that, it wouldn't have got blown out. And Alabama wins. They win the national championship. Ah, <sighs> Look at them it's celebrating in there. He's, he, I guarantee they're all 21. At least those guys are. So the person here with, I believe, a BAM on a bio scan had 17, 6, and 3. That was their best. Rocket Watts here, 16, 2 boards and 4 assists. On 5 of 22 shooting, Cassius Winston only at 14 on 5 of 14, and the Jordan War on 4 of 10. But as you can see, their two injuries really hurt us. If they were healthy, we probably would have had a better shot. Alabama won the national championship. And the MVP went to Andre Emescu. 16 points, eight boards, six assists. He shot 50 from the field and couldn't even take a three. All right, and with that, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video. I couldn't quite bring the national championship to Michigan State that I wanted to. And considering they hadn't been to the Final Four since 2015 and I brought them all the way to the national championship, I'd say that was a pretty huge step. Would have liked to have a win for my first rebuild, but legends aren't built in one night. You know, it takes a lot of time. So we're gonna keep going at this thing and we're gonna bring some national championships to other teams though. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like Leave a comment down below as well, and also subscribe if you want to see more of these college rebuilds. Thank you. Peace out.